I just challenged Craig to a thousand dollar motorcycle challenge in a series of obstacles that you guys help us pick. One, two, three, go. Hold on, you didn't give me any money. Just use your own money, I'll pay you back later. Just use your wife's medical savings fund and I'll pay you back later. Use your Dave Ramsey emergency fund and I'll pay you back later. You never pay me back. The rules are simple. We have a thousand dollar budget, it must be street legal, and it's gotta have a title. You'd be surprised that a lot of people are trying to sell bikes without titles. notice that we are not buying these bikes at the dealer auction. Well, that's because two reasons. First is because the last time we did this, a lot of people mentioned that we were cheating because it's not open to everyone. And that, that's a fair point. The other reason is they banned us from filming at the auction. So we will be buying these bikes the old fashioned way by getting robbed and kidnapped on Craigslist. So I had a lock on a really good bike. It was an 80 something gold wing 1200. And I, I, I messaged a guy on Marketplace. I said, is it still available? Would you take 900 bucks for it? He's asking 1500 bucks. He says, yes, it's still available. Uh, it's gotta be 1500 bucks. It is it's impossible. It's impossible to find a running motorcycle for less or something that could have, that has the potential to run fairly easily for less than a thousand bucks. Okay, so it's been all day. It is literally four o'clock and I've Finally found a bike. It's like an hour and a half away from here. It's in the budget only, and it has a title. Only thing is it doesn't run, uh, but the way it's being described, I think we can get it to run. I think I can get it to run. I'm gonna head out, I'm pretty stoked on it. It's gonna be a pretty cool bike. All right, so here's my basic strategy. And I'm, I'm not saying, I'm, I don't just lowball everybody, but I, I just lowball everybody. And I'm trying to find people somewhat in my area and I'm trying to avoid big cities like Philly and New York. And it mostly is, it's pretty much all 80s Japanese bikes. Road tripping for my new motorcycle. Can I come and see it today? Question. So I, I taught my children my phone number in a jingle that every once in a while I sing to them so if they're in a situation they can think about the jingle. I think it's a pretty genius idea. I only know one phone number. I only personally know one phone number and that's my dad's phone number and he's had it for my whole life. So if I get lost or if I lose my phone, I have no way of contacting my wife. I just gotta start a whole new life. You may be wondering why I'm driving down the highway with all my windows open. Listening to the sound of wind It's because my air conditioner doesn't work and it's almost 90 degrees out Easy peasy Here we're coming up against Shortlesville yeah, Shortlesville, Shortlesville Hi, is it available? Can you send me the video? And would you take 800 bucks for it? He's asking 1250. It's not that far off. That's not bad. That's a fair deal that bike. Can I come and see it today? Right, this is our exit. How perfect would these roads be on a bike? Boy, that was tight. Oh, this gets a little sketch. Right, so anytime you're trying to buy a cheap, cheap bike, you gotta play the long-term game and it's a game of numbers. So it's a game of you, you shoot now 50, 50 messages saying, would you buy this bike? Would you sell this bike? Would you sell this bike? How much? And you kind of nailing it down, narrowing it down. It almost never happens quickly where the guy can't meet up till later tonight or, or you show up at the bike and it's junk. It's not what he told you it was. It's crazy. But I've bought hundreds and hundreds of motorcycles online. So many people just lie to you. They're just straight up lying to you. It needs tuned up. And then you crank it all oh, it ran good last season, needs tuned up. And then you crank it over and the carburetors fall off and the pistons flopping around. Blah, clank, clank, clank. These people are being wolves. Don't be a sheep, be a shark. So now I'm playing the waiting game and trying to see who can meet up with me and who's gonna get back to me and who can meet up with me today because I wanna buy something now. 
<laughs> All right, so that was fun. Um, I just drove an hour and a half plus a little bit. Come see this bike. I was all excited about this bike and I asked to see the title to make sure I liked everything on the title because, you know, it's a good, clean title. And sure enough, it's not. And, you know, at the end of the day, you don't know what's up. Like, is that, is, you know, everything's probably legit. I mean, they're good dudes. It, I, I don't think they're trying to do anything, but you don't know. You know, I don't know. So, you know, right now it's basically a stolen bike you know, quote unquote, stolen bike that I, you know, I don't really want any parts of. So the search continues. It's 630. I'm like an hour and a half from home. It's been a long day. All right, this is turning out to be a little harder than we thought. I'm texting with Craig and he's about ready to give up. He's, he's like, there's no under thousand dollar motorcycles that run with titles on the internet. And um, he's not far off, but they're out there. So we're going to the streets. The old fashioned way. There's something out there. I saw a couple bikes along the side of the road and I got a few more ideas. Let's go check it out. I'm so freaking pissed. Like, I specifically asked, is it a good PA title? Like, no, it's not. Just just be honest. Just, you know, it, it's a shame. I don't know what to say. But I'm pissed because, you know, now I'm not going to get home till after my kids go to bed and, you know, it was a whole waste of a trip. Greg. Yo. Did you find one? Yeah, I'm working at it. I got one. It's amazing how many titles got lost in the moves. No, no one has, man. no one has titles for anything, and it's crazy. All these motorcycles, they just need a tune-up or a key or a no title. No key. <laughs> Yo, no, right, exactly. No key, no title. Uh, Rebuild the whole bike. All it needs is a throttle cable. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> all right, let me know when you find one. All right, let I'm me, working at it. All right, cool. We are here at the Lancaster Honda. Here's my theory that somewhere back deep in the back of the bike, there's some bike that's goofy or it's something wrong with it or there's something not right about it or something that maybe the customer left here and, and maybe they can sell it. I don't know. Let's just see. I'm, 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 I'm grasping at straws here, but this is how you get it done. Question for you. Is there any chance I'm trying to do, I'm trying to buy a bike for like a thousand bucks. Is there any chance you have some like piece of junk in the back that maybe has some potential? <laughs> I'm trying to think. But I know when I had a lot of bikes, mm -hmm. there was always something back there, you know what I mean? Like... 86 Yamaha XV700. Is that a Virago? It's, 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 it's blessed. <laughs> yeah, it's cursed. It's, it's blessed. 500, that ain't bad. We're gonna get, well, a, bike. We're gonna get a bike out of here for you, hopefully. Is it the lawnmower? <laughs> we know there's an empty. Is it this Africa twin? That'd be sweet. I didn't know you guys had a back room. That beast. What's the deal with it? XV 700. Yeah, that's a Virago. Yep. It's always been. 700 or 1100? 7. I honestly, it's been so long. That's not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> it just it fires up and runs. Like <laughs> five hundred bucks, dude. Let's do it. Okay. I know I got another deal cooking, and this one here is very, very promising. We came to terms, and uh, I think you guys are gonna really like it. That's gonna happen in the morning though, because it's almost eight o'clock and I'm not even home yet. Thanks, guy. You know what's really funny? This is actually more similar to the bike that I owned when I actually met my wife. Um, so maybe I'll bring this home. I'll make her uh, ride right on the back. Maybe she'll fall in love with me again. Who knows? Tires look awesome. They feel pretty good. So I think they had this bike ready to sell like years ago, but then something goofy would happen every time they go to sell it and then just sat in the back. Let's do it. I, I didn't know motorcycles could be this slow and this loud at the same time.
I'm so pumped. I'm so excited about this bike. This is awesome. Second of all, I think it's only running on one cylinder, but it's actually running pretty good on one cylinder. And here's how we're going to find out. Ouch! It's, okay, that, that cylinder's working. Front cylinder's working. Either I lost all nerve in my fingers or um, the front cylinder's working, back cylinder's not. All right, so it's only two cylinders. So if I pull this plug, I pulled the plug. We know it's not, we know it's only running on. This is how it was running. So clearly the rear cylinder is not doing anything. The question is, why is it not, is it not doing anything? Is it a coil? Is it whatever? They said there was this, this bike had some ghosts. They said this bike was cursed by a witch. I'm, I'm cool with it running on one cylinder. That's fine, but I, let's see if we can try to get it to run on two. The question is, how's Craig doing over there? All I did was scroll through Marketplace, scroll through Craigslist, scroll through eBay, everything. Texted friends, sent messages, smoke signals, message in a bottle, everything, and I was coming up blank. But I got another bike on the hook. I got another deal in the works. But first, I got to go do some shopping. You'll see why. So the obvious question is, is it getting spark? I'm pulling out the spark plug it looks like this it doesn't look bad that's not a bad looking spark plug so let's see if it's getting spark that means we're getting spark so there are two problems one it either has no compression or it's not getting fuel this is a dual carburetor setup so maybe the one carb is not working properly Let's take the tank off and see if I can get to that carb. Okay, this is the front carb. Feel also comes out of that one. We know two things. We're getting spark. We're getting fuel to both carburetors. That's not good. That's not what you want to see when you're looking at your bike. Why? Why is that? All right, so there's a lot of tubes and a lot of things going on with this carburetor. This is normally the spot where I just kind of start walking away and Craig starts working on it. My fear is that I start diving into it and then I make it worse. Well, maybe I can't make it worse because it's already not running on this one cylinder. Okay, so here we are at stop one before we go to pick up the bike. To see what happened is this guy wanted $1,250 for the bike. Well, our limit's a thousand bucks, so I figured well, I'll shoot him a thousand dollar offer. He said, well, what do you have to trade that's worth 250 bucks? I thought a little bit and I said, I tell you what. I said, I'll trade you five gallons of gas, a pizza, and four eight foot two by fours. And guess what? He said, yes. So here we are. We gotta stop and get two by fours. Have a pretty good idea of where my limits are when it comes to working on something when i see this many hoses lines and everything going everywhere i know that that's my limit but i'm going to push it past that and hope that i can get this thing put back together and at least run as good as it did when i got it hopefully even run better if we can get that other carburetor pumping fuel out you know that's why i'm looking at this and just like no no this is this is too much i can't put this back together i don't know i'm gonna forget everything that's, that's going on here this is why i have craig <laughs> All right, so I'm here to pick up the bike. Uh, I pulled in and I just saw it and I'm really excited. I think he just rode it up here to this spot. So, so far this is way, way better. Uh, I got my supplies. Here's the pizza and we got our other stuff here. Let's go meet this fella here. Hopefully he's gonna be my new best friend. How you doing? I'm Craig. Justin. Justin, nice to meet you, man. So we came up with a deal. Our deal was we had a thousand dollar budget for this project and Justin was asking $12.50 for this bike, but we did some trading. He's got a hot pizza 
and it's pepperoni. Yeah. So I picked out the best I could. But I got your two by fours here. That'll be some shelving. All right. And I got you a new can with the highest octane I could find. Now that's a heck of a deal. Here we are. The bike runs. He's got a title for it. I'm super stoked. The first start of every day, I'll leave the choke off and I'll hit the button. And then I'll pull the choke. Yeah, as soon as he gets some heat in there, it's... Kidding. So fun fact, this is the first motorcycle I ever rode. It's a 1981 Yamaha 400 Special. Uh, when I was a kid, I was like 12, 13 years old. Uh, the neighbor down the street got one and he let me ride it around his yard. I did subsequently crash it pretty quickly. Uh, sorry about that, Ryan. Uh, but <laughs> hey, <laughs> here we are, we're doing it again. It's either gonna come out and be like, wow, Sean, you're the best or Wow, Sean, you flew too close to the sun on that one because you had a good running bike. It wasn't running perfect, but it would have done what you needed to do. All right, so I can't, I can barely even take this thing out. There's no way I'm gonna take it out, clean it, fix it, and get it back in properly. I can barely, I can't even take it out. I'm gonna push this thing back in. Maybe I can twist it enough that I can get to these screws and drop the uh, drop the float ball, maybe. If I get the carb out, I'm done. I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not, I might. I may be able to clean it out, but I'm not gonna be able to get it back in. It's just too much of a pain. Guys, I am super pumped. Not only is this a really cool motorcycle, it has a little bit of a soft spot to me, uh, being the first street bike that I ever rode. But I got to meet Justin. He's a really cool dude. So I'm gonna go take this thing for a quick spin and see how it is. I love everything about it. It's everything I was hoping it would be and a little bit more. Some bikes are easy to get the carbs out and then you have Japanese bikes and their goal was to build a carburetor and build the bike around it and put it in a, in a closed box so no one ever could get it out. Is a motorcycle working on two cylinders? I don't know what I did, but I got it working. It's amazing. Let's go see what Craig's doing. <laughs> Maybe you are a mechanic. Maybe I am a motorcycle mechanic. So here's the deal. The bike is running fine. Uh, I took it around the yard a bunch tonight with my wife and kids on it. Not at the same time. So I really just have to put air in the tires. I'm going to make sure there's gas in it. I'm going to put a license plate on it. I'm going to hit it with some of this M1 Moto Detailer. I really love this stuff. So we're gonna get it cleaned up for tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we're, we're almost there. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good. It smells like coconuts and suntan lotion. Now, if you know me, you know I hate cleaning stuff, like sitting down and cleaning a motorcycle or my car or my wife's car or anything like that, not my jam. But uh, when I had my shop, I did wipe down every customer's bike before it left. So I've tried a lot of different sprays. I really like this stuff because I think the other big trick or the other thing we really worked at too was finding the right, what do you call these, microfibers. These so far have been the best we've found and we've tried, I don't know, I feel like hundreds of them. Look how nice that is. Let's see if it'll fire up. But... That's the cold exhaust. It runs awesome. It's even idling. So that's awesome. I had the battery in the battery tender. The battery's all charged up. All I gotta do is just check the oil. I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna use some of our, uh, the only fast detailer that I use when I'm cleaning down my $500 bike, which is the M1 Moto Fast Detailer. It's the same stuff I use on all of my nice bikes. We'll make it look good. And then we'll go take it for a spin. And then we gotta meet up with Craig. Um, he won't tell me what it is. Well, I told him not to tell me what it is, so.
right there's Craig. I can't wait to see what he got. He, he knows what I got. But I can't wait to see what Craig got. Well, I'm glad he got it running. Last I heard, he was having some mechanical difficulties. <laughs> Did we get the same bike? <laughs> Almost. Mine's way cooler, though. Yours is an 83. 81. 81. Oh. It's a 700. 400. 400 oh, special. Oh, the 400. 81 400 special. Oh, okay. I had a 700. So this is not this is not a Virago. No. Kickstart. Uh-huh. That's so cool. Oh, man. That's <laughs> awesome. I know, right? Dude, look at this. <laughs> what is that? A skateboard? Look at this Merce, dude. It's a papoose. It's so big. So huge. What would you pay for this? Well, yeah. So, you didn't say anything about bartering. Okay. So this cost me a thousand bucks. Five gallons of gas. Okay. Four eight foot two by fours and a pizza. So it cost you $2,400. Pretty much. <laughs> what do you got? This is a 90 something. No, 80 something. Actually, I don't even know how old it is. It looks 80s. 86 Yamaha Virago 750, 500 bucks. Really? I went, to, I went to Honda, and I'm like, I know you guys have some cursed bike that's sitting in the back that you don't want to sell and that everyone hates. Come on, man. I know you have something. And he's like, let me, let me go check. I walk in there. I'm not kidding. It's set for a year. I turn the key on. The light turns on. I click the start button. It fires right up. It was only running on one cylinder. You only need uh, one. I took the carbs completely out, rebuilt the entire carb system. Yeah, you did. Put it back in, and now it runs perfect. Nice. Yep, that's what I did. I had to work on mine a little bit. This right here, I, I was missing this nut here. Oh, wow. So I had to fix that. So we are going to take these bikes on some pretty intense challenges. I can't wait. Hold on a second. I just got a, I just got a text message. We just got our first challenge, Craig. Really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, I am super pumped to tell you guys that on our last live session a couple days ago, we raised over $100,000 uh, for this product. We're trying to get this product everywhere in tons of stores, and this is all part of the system. But for you early adopters, because uh, you guys jumped on this so early and I'm pumped about it, we are giving away 200 Navis, and we're gonna hide the keys inside these bottles. So in October, when these things show up, there's gonna be two, there's gonna be two, a, a key in two different bottles, and someone's gonna win these 100 Navis. Guys, go click on the link below, check it out, and I really appreciate all that we've done. I mean, this, this, is, this is our project, and it's, it's really exciting, and you're gonna love this product.